Welcome back. This is Mr. O here with a walk me through project. It's, of course, if you know from the title of the video, I'm actually going to do a test of this microphone created by Iucus. I think that's how you say the name, Iucus. Yeah, I think that's how you say his name, say the name. Yeah, it's the Iucus microphone. And unlike the last mic I've had in the past, which was my ice, which was my blue ice microphone, that thing really served me well. Yeah, it really served me well. Unfortunately, the little uh, USB full-size type B broke off of that of said old microphone. Which is the main reason why I've been using my phone to record commentary for some of my videos. But now that I got this, I can connect this directly to my MacBook Pro. Hopefully. And see how it sounds. The only problem is where am I going to put it? There's no room on this little bedside table here. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, what I want to do is connect this to my MacBook Pro if it would focus already. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go, I think. Now. Now, we look back here. Oh. You know what? Let me put it down here for now. I gotta be careful with this thing. I just barely got it today. It came in the mail. Yeah. You can hear my Mac fan going because I have it set to be on full blast. Put it in here. Okay. Okay, I think it's getting power. I'm not exactly sure how this is working, how it works. I think I might have the silly thing upside down. But let's go to my Mac and uh, see how it works. Uh, before I do though, well actually I've already done it, but before we show you how it sounds, this is what I had to do. Of course, I <laughs> cleverly used the tripod to keep it steady as I kind of propped it on the table here. But that's not the tricky part. The tricky part is back here. Now, this part here is the splitter. Now, connecting the microphone directly to the MacBook Pro, it won't work for some reason. Something to do with how the jack is, uh, I don't know, probably how it's made, but it does not, it gets, it's loose. So I had to use this adapter. Yes. It's quite a mess back here. I had to use this adapter, and this is where things get even more tricky. It's a bunch of wires in the way. Now, one of these is for the mic, and one of them's for the headphone. It's, yeah, it's messy, but it at least it works. But the problem is, I'll show you here. Um, um, let me cut off the light real quick. I wish you can do this while you're recording. Now, hopefully it's still connected. Now, where is that mouse? If I click on the speaker icon here, and every time I turn my Mac on, it disconnects the speaker while my laptop is open. But while it's closed and I connected it to this, you can't hear a thing. Let me show you what I mean. Oops, wrong one. You see, you can't hear a thing. But that's because the speaker's cut off because the computer thinks that there's a headphone connected to it, even though I clearly have it set to input. So... 
when I have my MacBook Pro connected to the TV like this, I have to set it to Samsung. That's the TV speaker. So now if we play the same video again, this time you can hear some things. Mm, yeah. That's the video I was working on. I'm going to post that really soon. So that's the uh, Mac. So that's pretty much a bit of a dilemma regarding my microphone. If only I had chosen the uh, USB version of this mic. Well, let's go to my Mac screen and show you how it performs. Okay, this is what I had to do. Uh, hold on a minute. Um, so, there's this little adapter that connects both the headphone and the Mac. I mean, I can't talk. Headphone is, I mean, I had to connect the, uh, the little uh, splitter thing. One of them's for the mic, the other one's for the headphones. I had to, uh, to get anything to play back on the TV speaker, I had to go to, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, the Telestream audio card. Yeah, so, uh, but what I had to do was connect the end of the microphone cord to one of the ports. One of them is labeled a microphone. The other one's for headphones. I had to connect the other end of that adapter into my MacBook Pro to get it to work. Now, if we go to uh, System Preferences, I really need a new computer. I mean, you're hearing my voice. Yeah. Uh, just a minute. Okay, there we go. Yeah. That's why it wasn't working at first. Okay. Um, you're hearing my voice on this microphone. I hope it's not too overbearing. I, I just hope it's. I just hope I'm not ear raping your headphone ears. <laughs> so, this condenser microphone, it works pretty well. I think it. There might be an issue with my headphone jack on my MacBook Pro. It's fairly old. But I wonder what would happen if I connect it to my. Uh, capture card directly. Would it work? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that when I start recording again. But maybe I'll do post commentary for part five of Walk Me Through Dark Siders, the War Mastered Edition for the Switch. But that's uh, my uh, setup and review of the uh, condenser microphone. It's uh, It doesn't I don't know if it sounds any better than my old, uh, I can't talk. I don't know if it sounds any better than my, uh, Blue Ice microphone. It served me well, but the USB thing in the back of the mic had broken off. I was sorely disappointed. It had served me well. But... I guess that's enough for now. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and give me a comment. Click that sub button if you want to see more. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post more videos. But until next time, this has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. Orthopedia saying peace and that's a wrap and I will see you. Next time. Peace.
Fuck it. Fuck it. Ah!